Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Anif Tech here. Today, I got my hands on something really cool. This is the Ohi 67 watt power adapter. This is not your traditional 67 watt power adapter that comes with your MacBook because it includes a couple of different features compared to the other ones. First of all, the fact that it's a GAN plus charger makes it this tiny and this small form factor, which you can take anywhere with you in a bag or even in your pocket compared to most 67 watt power adapters, which are pretty bulky. And then it gives you the ability to charge with USB-C and then also USB-A. So the greatest addition about that is that you also have a little LED light on the top to tell you if you know, the device you're charging is using fast charging or standard charging. So that light changes depending on the different modes. It would be amber if you have fast charging, blue if you have standard charging, and then you have green for trickle charging if it's just slowly charging the device. So having that light on the top is pretty cool. But what's even more cool is that it includes an additional accessory. So it comes with this USB-C to USB-C cable that's also braided, so you don't have to worry about it fraying over time and getting bent and you know out of shape. This cable also has one additional cool feature. So it has a screen on the front that shows you the current wattage that your device is coming through with power. So for example, iPhone 14 Pro Max, I've tested it, it comes with 27 watts around maximum wattage when pulling the 67 watt power adapter. And that is because even though it supports the full 67 on the power adapter, the iPhone does not. It charges at a max rate of 27 watts. So you can verify that with this little screen on the front. So if you're one of those techie people that want to know actually what you're charging with, this is definitely the way to go. I've always wanted one of these cables and I remember a different brand making them a while back, but now that Ohi has made one, it seems pretty cool and I'm glad they sent these out to me so I can test them. And it also opens up a lot of different opportunities. For example, when you're testing different phones, different gadgets, you can actually see what they're charging with and see if the power adapter you're using is actually worth its money because you can tell if it's pulling the fastest current possible and if it's charging the device with fast charging. So good job on that one. And I really like the fact that it has that LED screen on the front. They also sell a different cable for those of us that have Apple devices. So they have a USB-C cable to lightning connector cable. And keep in mind, this is an MFI certified cable, so you shouldn't have any issues with CarPlay or any data transfer for your iPhone. So being that uh, MFI standard gives you the ability to know that you have a quality cable with you. But it also includes the cool stuff from the USB-C cable. So the USB-C cable did have the LED screen and it's also present here on the lightning connector cable. And pretty much you have the exact same ability to see the wattage that your Apple device is pulling through this cable. But I also do want to mention that both cables have an LED light on themselves as well. So if you remember, I mentioned before that the plug has an LED light to tell you the type of status it has for charging, the actual cables do as well. So this cable, so if you have the plug plugged in somewhere that you can't see it, then the cable tells you the actual status as well. So it has the same amber color, the same blue color, and the same green color, depending on the charging speeds. So you have that quick knowledge of knowing how fast your device is charging without even looking at the screen if you don't want to, because the screen part might be plugged into the actual brick in this case, and the lightning connector is plugged into your phone. So you can just take a quick glance at this cable and know if it's charging with the fastest speed possible. So I do give them that, and I like these little nice Velcro little straps that they put on these cables. So it keeps them nice and tidy as well. And I'm really glad that this company continues to send me these things out. I did review their charger a while back, the 20 watt version, and I can say it is no different than this one. The quality is amazing. And I really enjoy using their products because it's something that lasts a while and it gives me the fastest speed possible to charge my devices, which I really do enjoy. So good job, Ohi, on these and on the previous cables that you have made. But some other cool features about this thing is the fact that when you plug into the wall, it doesn't take up that much space. So your traditional plug, when you plug into the wall, you have the issue of not being able to plug in anything else. For example, my 67 watt Apple charger for my MacBook Pro doesn't give me that ability. You know, you have that plugged in and that's about it. But do keep in mind that this plug is not removable on the top. So it's not like the Apple chargers where you can just change the plug and put the extension part on it. This one does not give you that ability. So do keep that in mind when traveling. 
And the last thing that I wanted to point out out of all of this is the fact that I chose the black colorway for this charging block and they have a yellow version as well, which is pretty cool because it matches their whole brand coloring and the plugs on the inside. But the black version actually scratches a lot, especially when I keep it in my bag because I recently traveled and having the ability to have this in my bag for my various devices without bringing additional power blocks does scratch it up quite a bit. As you can see here, it's pretty banged up, but that doesn't really ruin the functionality of this device. It's just something more aesthetic if that's something that you wanna keep in mind when you're using this block. But other than that, I can say that the Mag Cube from Ohi is a great addition to your everyday stuff that you carry with you. You might be wondering how the quality is on these plugs for the lightning connector and the USB-C cable as well. Well, both cables do have USB-C, so they're pretty much the same quality between both, but the USB-C portion when plugged into the Ohi 67 watt power adapter, it has no issues whatsoever with the actual plugs. It is really sturdy. And I can tell you that this will probably last a long time. It's not like those cheaper cables that you find from other third parties. The same I can say about the original USB-C power block from Apple, which is also 67 watts. There's no problems whatsoever in their plugs as well. So you can use this with other plugs if you want to, but it fits best with the Ohi version because it matches the design and overall it's the same brand. So I prefer to use it that way. But the lightning portion of the cable is also the same in quality and I can tell you it's extremely high quality. And when you plug it into the iPhone, there's no reason to think that your iPhone won't charge. So it fits perfectly snug on the iPhone as well. I'm using the Kadabe Sheet iPhone 14 Pro Max case and the opening on the bottom is a little bit smaller than usual than most cases. But since they took the design of the original Apple Lightning cable and the form factor is small on the Ohi cable, I have no problems with it plugging into the casing on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Some people might be looking for smaller cables for that reason because some bulkier cases don't have space for different lightning cables and usually the original ones are the only ones that fit. Well, since this mimics pretty much the original cable size, there should be no problems with using this in smaller ports on certain cases. So I just want to put that out there for those people that have different cases which require smaller cables. But other than that, the Ohi power cube and these cables are really great. And this is definitely something that I use every day. And I can tell you that I keep it in my bag and I can charge multiple devices with just one plug. Especially the ability that I have to use USB-C and USB-A is the greatest beneficial factor from these cables and the plug. And this is all I need in my daily carry bag. So if you like this video, then definitely give me a thumbs up. Let me know how I did in the comments below if you have any additional questions and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Zenith Tech is out.